It's Thanksgiving Day and what a wonky one it is. I say wonky because uh, this is a day that will be celebrated in ways we have not done before. For example, at 10 o'clock on a Thanksgiving Day morning, we as a congregation would normally meet for worship and it would be an intergenerational service. The children would be involved in the message and Pastor Jeremy would be a, a good coach at that. We would express our gratitude, or reasons for our gratitude, giving testimony one by one uh, before the Lord, and we would have prayed and sang and just enjoyed a homecoming as friends and family from out of town come into this town, our town, uh, to be with family, to give thanks to God, and to share a meal together. So as your Thanksgiving Day home chaplain, I want to come into your home today and share with you a scripture, a passage of scripture, and then a prayer. And so the passage of scripture that I want to share with you this morning, or this day, whenever you watch this, is Psalm 100. So tune your ear to the word of the Lord and know his heart through this psalm. Let the whole earth shout triumphantly to the Lord. Serve the Lord with gladness. And come before him with, with joyful songs. Acknowledge that the Lord is God, that he made us and that we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise and give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his faithful love endures forever. His faithfulness through all generations through all generations let us pray lord god almighty we come before you on this day of giving thanks and we acknowledge that uh, the person to whom we speak this day is you we thank you for who you are we thank you for your ways we thank you for your promised presence in our lives. We thank you, we praise you, and all that you are. You are the Lord of Lords. We confess that you are the, the King of Kings, the one and only true God, our Savior, Provider, Counselor, and Friend. You, God, alone are worthy of our praise even when we don't understand your ways, and we, we confess in this very moment that your ways are not our ways, that your ways are higher than our ways, that there isn't a single thing that happens in our life that isn't outside of your sovereign watch, outside of your sovereign care, even this Thanksgiving day of 2020. So we pray, O oh God, that by your spirit and your truth in your scripture that you would shift our sights from our frustrations and cause our hearts to gaze upon your faithfulness. We pray that you would shift our sights from our hurts and cause our eyes to gaze on the horizon for your coming hope. Lord Jesus, you promised that you would come again. You promised that your kingdom is coming. It's here and advancing. And it is in your coming that we place our hope. It is in the establishment of your kingdom that we place our hope. And so grow in us a heart of thanksgiving, a heart of thanksgiving as we seek to know you more each and every day on a journey to follow you, grow together, and to make disciples. Lord, thank you for adopting us into your your household of faith. Thank you for giving us a common and shared purpose. Thank you for giving us all that we need to make that purpose possible. And Lord, where there is little faith, I pray that it would grow and expand. And where there is great faith, I pray that there would be great fruit in your kingdom. So Lord, as we gather around table today, let it be our commonly shared profession of faith that we need you for every breath, for every drop of water, 
for every morsel of food, for every word in your scriptures. We come before you and we give you thanks again for all that you are and will ever be. In Jesus' name we pray, in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the power of the Holy Spirit, I wish you a happy Thanksgiving.